went back to home, back to my crib. Zico is in the back seat. He ain't not supposed to be. This morning I got up at 7 a.m., cleaned all the kennels, fed the puppies the mush, uh, let the girls out to use the bathroom. Roxy is sitting in her kennel. Grown ass dog sitting in her kennel. I just uh, never understand it. Got her figured out, cleaned up. She's feeding her puppies. Let Zico out, let him run around, play a little bit. Get to the airport 12 hours early, walk around the whole park because I just need him to shit and piss before I put him in this carrier. Which the carrier is too small, but I stuffed his glass in. I literally had to put him upside down and butt, throw his ass in that motherfucker. And then he laid down because the nigga just not corroborative. Get to the line. Yeah, hey, I just want to add my pet, you know. I ain't already checked in. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, this flight has been canceled. We can, uh, I'll have you rebook at 5 o'clock today. Wait, bitch. I'm supposed to start boarding in 15 minutes. You tell me the flight canceled? And, uh, I guess what time I get an email, y'all. Oh, phone. Boo boo. Or email. 1149, your flight has been canceled. Here are your options. Bro, the flag leave at 12.35. How the fuck y'all gonna cancel at 11.50? What the fuck you mean cancel, bro? And y'all know I cannot, you can't push my flight back. It ain't like Atlanta where my fucking return flight was at 10 p.m. It ain't no 10 p.m. return flights from fucking New Jersey to Houston. The last flight was at 7 p.m. And guess what I did, y'all? I paid for a non-refundable flight from New Jersey to Houston because I knew for sure I was going to be on that motherfucker flight today. $300 non-refundable from New Jersey to fucking Houston. So not only did Spirit fuck me on getting Zico to where he needs to go because, yes, every day he's get bigger. Okay, so today I stuck him. Tomorrow I might not be able to fucking stuff him. So, man, it's just been a fucking rough fucking day, bro. They fucking cancel my flight. I just lost $300 on a non-refundable fucking flight from New Jersey to fucking Houston. And now I'm headed back to the fucking house. And the police just fucking passed me. Well, I'm on my phone with no seatbelt on and I don't give no fuck. It's been one of those days. And I'm all for experiences, okay? I'm all for adver adversity. I'm all for it. I, I embrace it. Because you grow from it. But I'm not fucking growing from this experience. How can you grow from being a fucking fight, being canceled 30 minutes before you fucking supposed to leave? Not only did I get fucked out of that money, but the fucking people in the parking garage told me that they don't have nothing to do with the airlines. So I still got paper parking. You parked your car, you got paper parking. What the airline doing got shit to do with us. I said, bro, they canceled my flight. Well, you been here two hours. You supposed to show up to the fucking airline two hours before your flight. Motherfucker. It ain't like I just fucking pulled up and oh, as soon as I got in the parking lot, oh, I just got an email to fucking kill. No, nigga, I showed up on. They don't give a fuck. Still have to pay them folks. They couldn't let me slide by nothing. They could they just niggas, okay? It was fucking black people. And in all my experiences, in my whole entire fucking life, dealing with niggas has never worked out for me. In businesses, personal shit, respectful. I got, I just saw, my man, listen, respectfully, personally, respectfully. Through a business, if a black person works for a business, brother, they don't give a fuck about a nigga. So personal shit, I, I, great business. Great business for me. But boy, when I go to, I don't give a fuck if it's a McDonald's. If it's a nigga behind that counter, I know for sure my shit probably gonna be fucked up. And they don't give a fuck. Black women. It's a damn, y'all ain't just gonna work with me. You, know, you just see, I just fucking, before I got canceled, fucking three minutes of right. Y'all not gonna give me a fucking, no. Bro, you ain't losing no motherfucking money by letting me not pay no fucking parking, bitch, when my fight by council. 
Dumb bitch. I don't give a fuck. Nobody gives a fuck. So I call United. I said, like, it was 300 some dollars. They said, well, um, what we can do is, if you upgrade your ticket, we can give you a flight credit. So if I spend some more money, I get to keep my damn flight credit. So I had to spend $50 to keep my $300 flight credit. So they had to spend the $50 or lose $300, and I'm no fool. I'm no fool. Man. Uh, learn from me, man. Always, when you book flights, pay the most you can pay for the flight so you can get your fucking money back or a flight credit. I'm not even letting this video get to eight minutes because I usually push for eight minutes, but fuck it. Hope y'all have a good day. Um, Earl, I blame you for waiting so long to finish paying for your damn dog because I'm dealing with a fucking monster that don't fit. And listen, man, I blame everybody. All y'all. I blame YouTubers. I blame the airline. And I blame you, Earl, for taking so damn long to pay for your dog. Y'all have a good day. And your dog's still going to get them. I'm going to get them now.